Hey everyone, this is Jenny Garcia and this is a December daily process video for day 20. We're going to have some flip action uh, on this day. There were quite a few photos and the first photo that I'm just adding a few stickers and a die cut. It's a schedule that my daughter's school sent for Spirit Week that it says, you know, which is ugly sweater day which is holiday attire or comfy day so i wanted to um include that in the album and also i always save it to help me you know be in bed at night and i'm like oh wait tomorrow it's socks it's sweaters what is that now that uh this was the first year that my daughter's experience being in different schools so it was one day one had sweater and the other one had socks and it was a little confusing and i had to keep guessing i also have this smaller page protector is from citrus twist kits and it has two spaces for polaroids and then a bigger one at the bottom for uh the horizontal polaroid and i love my polaroid printer um sadly i don't have as many photos this year with my polaroid that may change in 2022 and i just wanted to save some of the packaging from the socks and the items that i brought and of course i wanted to add a little shaker pocket and since this is inside of a folded uh, what's the size 8 by 12 I I didn't want to make that shaker pocket too fat I did want to add something to the back of that tag there's nothing on it I wasn't covering any important information uh, I think it has the size and it has the price which is very important because in the future we're gonna be like oh my god it was so cheap <laughs> and we're gonna be like yeah no not really um and i wanted to staple it to the pocket to like have it sort of dangle in there i didn't want to use staple but i think they in the future if they want to remove the tag you can just take off that staple and take it out at the bottom i'm not gonna do any ceiling or any of that i'm gonna add stickers to the outside of the pocket which is something that i don't do often but i really like it and these stamps are very strong so they are not going to fall off with time i'm hoping um and the shaker pocket is just a fun little bit and i have quite a few photos and i didn't know where to put the 20 from the in a creative bubble i'm sorry from the feed your craft slash in a creative bubble kit so i wanted to add this little jar which is very old it's from snowing the snowing cocoa collection from crate paper which has been one of my favorite holiday collections sadly for me it's a little too pastel i need bright 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 with red with pink with the leafiest green ever so it doesn't really work for me i wanted to add some bits to this shaker pocket however it's sewn the pocket is sewn to chipboard so it's kind of difficult to put things there i did want it to go for items that were flat since i'm not gonna use my fuse tool and my sewing tends to be a little bit messy on the back because my tension is always screwed up no matter how much I try to fix it. So I knew that I was going to use washi tape so I didn't want anything too big, too bulky in there. And I reached over one of my uh, holiday sequence, sequence mix and it's one of my favorites and i kind of want to make another one because i ran out i'm using this bone folder to move the sequence down a little bit maybe add a few more so i'm gonna fish for some other items that i wanted to include 
I also want to add a 20 so I need to have the space on the top right of this mason jar so it fits correctly and I always say I'm gonna add just a little bit just a few and then I keep adding and adding and it's always too much <laughs> even if it's if it's very little it's too much for the container that I'm using so I'm using my go-to washi tape and hopefully it doesn't come out if it does it's not like a bunch of them are going to fly out, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm using these Recollection Alpha stickers that Jen from Chappy Plan sent me. Last year we did a uh, Crafting with Friends swap, and she sent me a few items that are like now staple to me. Like, I love a number. I wanted to punch holes but then I remember like no because then the bits are gonna fall off and I remember that I have these Ali Edwards tabs they're like a plastic tabs that you add on the side and I like that they come separate the ones from Citrus Twist kits I also love because they are eight inches tall so I can use it in a whole page for but for things like this I appreciate Ali's smaller um, I think those are called tags, but uh, I didn't want to add anything. I thought about adding stuff to the back and I was like, I'm just going to leave it like that. It's not a big deal. And I still went and added <laughs> that 20 to one of the photos. And I'm using these holiday magic prompts from Everyday Explorers in my album. It's in my go-to stamp sets for December Daily. And I always like to layer that number with a little bit of washi tape. Sometimes I staple it, sometimes I don't. I add little gold stars, which I need to cut more. The other day I was running out and I was telling myself next time I work on my album, I have to cut a few more of these. But instead of going for that, I added these little enamel hearts. And since I have that brown background, I decided to stamp on white. And this could be hit or miss. You can see it very well. But it doesn't pop like it did in uh, the last Patreon video I did. It had like a very dark blue. So it was there was a lot of contrast. And I love how the little pocket turned out. I also have these stamps. I believe these are from the Merry Moments bundle or is it very merry but i don't think they have it anymore the other day i was looking for it to link it to my description and i couldn't find it uh they also ran out of the kit too which makes me wonder if they're gonna do a new one this year or if they're gonna do a documentary kit that is very holiday related and how cool it would be and this is just at the top of my head if it was like designed but in a creative bubble I would be so excited I love using this poppy ink in my December daily album my go-to inks are poppy and fresh cut and then I have those cute little stars from the in a creative bubble um, slash feed your craft stamp set these are the ones that I have on my stash. And I just had, I think, one of my kids had like special socks day. And then the other one had hat day or holiday shirt. You see, it's very complicated. <laughs> um... I think I'm gonna add a little bit of journaling again I'm gonna go with my red I didn't realize and that happens a lot to me I put two photos in a pocket to create a flip or you know to add a, a little hidden journaling and I always forget until the moment I'm doing it and I'm like oh surprise here is an extra photo 
So I was taking a photo of my kid with uh, the pajamas. And then I realized that there was a photo behind and they were looking at phone and it's, uh, you know, that teenagerhood thing that they do that they get a little obsessed with their phones and you have to, by the way, if you have teenagers, uh, use the iPhone timer things. It's a lifesaver when it just locks on its own. It's so awesome. Also, you can connect it so that way you know what they're looking at. It's very handy. Technology is awesome. And at first I wanted to use that card, but then I saw the numbers and I didn't want to... I don't want to say waste this card, but I didn't want to use it on something that it wasn't... It wasn't many stories. It was one. It's holiday attire. We always get a few shirts. Charlotte's brings some sweaters, there's socks, and then I'm in April like wearing fussy holiday socks, which I do sometimes when I work on December daily, I, I bring my holiday mug and my socks and it helps me a little bit. And actually one of these days I was like stuck and I started listening to Christmas music and it helped a lot. I like that this card is so plain because there's so many photos on this spread and I use my pilot and I always say that it's 0 0.4 but it's actually 0 0.04 so it's very tiny perfect for um, you know writing smaller so you can fit a bunch of journaling in there my handwriting tends to go with whatever pen I'm using, so I'm always very conscious. And when you print your own cards, you can use a felt tip like the Tombow Twin Tone because it will ruin it. So it's stuff that I'm so used to it that I don't talk about it. But if you're printing your own cards and you're using Canon Matte Photo Paper, which is the one that I use the most, I also like the Epson presentation paper. Um, you can use felt tip, it, it will ruin them, you know, stick to bowl paint, bowl point, sorry, not bowl paint, <laughs> bowl point or roller bowl. Roller bowl is the name? Yeah, just no felt markers. And I always like to take advantage of these um, white backgrounds to stamp photos. And if you have to get one stamp only ever for the holidays, this one with the holiday magic prompts is my go-to. It covers everything, you know, wish list, feeling festive, the Christmas tree, warm and cozy, favorite season, shopping things, things about eating. So it's so complete. And this is a, a kind of difficult photo to embellish. That collage, I don't want to cover her or anything. And it's almost, almost the same picture. I just like the slight motion of her. I don't know, she was being her quirky self. And it's a joyful little collage. And I've been loving collage in December daily and that is something that I need to bring into my project life also. Sometimes I have a bunch of photos that look very similar and I'm like, this is making this whole thing so more complicated than it needs to be. And Charlotte has these hooks probably for her bathrobe, uh, but she put the socks there so the kids could find them. The dog was there too. She has her own special sweater. Um, haters will say that those are ornaments from Target, but that's some elf fashion that maybe you are not aware of. She looks adorable. She's serving it. She's a model in Elf magazine, so she knows a lot about fashion. And I just have a little space right there where it's, you, you can see my 
uh, fridge. And I was like, I don't want to see my fridge. I don't know why. But I felt like it was not really part of the story. So I don't mind covering that part too. And I like to add embellishments in a way that it's either diagonal or is a visual triangle. So uh, this way of doing it was perfect. And I was looking through my die cuts from the old figure craft kits. And that's those kits most of them were designed by in a creative bubble that's why my biggest wish is the studio calico does align with them because i know that ali had a kit with in a creative bubble but the colors were a little darker you know to fit ali's aesthetic it was a very good marriage it was really cute cutesy like in a creative bubble but more mature and sleek like ali And this is a close-up of the photos and this is just a great way to add you know extra photos I have the flip with the washi tape and I also took this 12 by 12 page protector and I cut off the bottom and then I folded it and I used my bone folder to make sure that there's a crease and it fits perfect now that I'm gonna use 8 by 10 I'm wondering how I'm gonna do things like that I mean I could use it if I have the 4x6 on um, the left side and then I have 3x4s and then I could fold those two on the right but it's not gonna be the same there's the pockets are different I, I'm looking forward to that creative challenge but a little afraid too and this is how the full I like this whole sandwich thing where I just keep closing and fixing I hope you enjoyed it here are the photos I hope you enjoy this process thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having an awesome day bye